All right, here with Margot Britton on the women's track and field team here at Temple. Margot, a lot of success so far, back-to-back, A-10 -back, Rookie of the Week awards you've gotten over the last couple weeks, going to Penn Relays this weekend. Just talk about the excitement you're experiencing so far in your rookie season. Uh, I'm super excited and at the same time kind of nervous because even in high school, I, I've never been to Penn Relays. It's a fantastic meet. I'll be in the uh, championship section for shot put and uh, I've seen some of the girls that are going to be in, in that meet with me and there's some heavy hitters, or I should say heavy throwers, so I'm kind of nervous and I'm excited too. It's a new experience. Can you just talk about like your progression over the course of the year? I mean, you were the Atlantic 10 uh, indoor shot put champion and then just to be able to do this all throughout the year, just jumping from high school through the collegiate level, just how's that experience been so far? Well, in the beginning, it was it's kind of rough. My technique in high school was more upper body oriented, and my coach definitely helped me with uh, incorporating my lower body because, you know, your lower body is much stronger than your upper body. And I think um, just by doing what my coach has been telling me to do and through hard work and strength training, I've been able to progress. And I was talking to Travis Mahoney about, uh, you know, this week, Penn Relays, following week, Atlantic 10 Championships. How, how, what's the mental focus like going into knowing that you have very, like, big meets these next couple weeks? Yeah, well, um, you can you can only compete with yourself. Right? Like, um, throwing and, as well as distance running, um, it's a mental game. I would say more than it is a physical game because you could have the right positions, but if you're not mentally there, if you're not mentally pumped up and prepared, you might as well like, have a broken arm or something because it's just not going to go well. Thanks, Marco. 